What's up everyone, Tim Stoddard here. And in this week's video, I'm gonna show you how I built a web glossary using AI, using a tool called Kappa. Um, let's just dive right into it because this stuff is really cool and I'm excited to see how it's gonna work. Okay, so here's the glossary. This is my site, SoberNation.com. SoberNation is an online resource for people that are looking for resources for drug and alcohol addiction. Um, it's been a project of mine for the last 10 years. It's a really successful brand and business, um, but I'm always looking for ways to improve. So what I did is I built a glossary, basically like an appendix or like an encyclopedia of all of the different terms that people would search for if they're looking for definitions. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you how I came up with all of these terms and how I organized it. As usual, I started at the ground floor with ChatGPT. I mean, this is just, people they get really fancy with prompts. I just talk to ChatGPT like it's a person. So I say, hi, I'm creating a glossary for different definitions, phrases, and key terms for a website that talks about sobriety, drug rehab, drugs, therapy, et cetera. Understand? Yes, I understand. Can you give me a list of 500 terms that are about sobriety, drug rehab, treatment, therapy, methods, et cetera? Um, and then bam, it gave me all of these terms. Uh, however, I realized that in order for this to be a glossary and in order for me to rank for some of these key phrases, I should probably phrase them in the form of questions. So I had to go through them one by one. I would have gotten this, it would have been a lot faster if I would have just done this right the first time, but I had to kind of take all of these sections and ask ChatGPT to sort of give me these back, but in the form of a question. Um, and so at the end of it, I ended up with like 122 different uh, questions, which is in the phrase of like a, uh, a key term, right? So uh, I think you guys get the point, right? Like well, what is a drug intervention? What is inpatient rehab? What is holistic therapy? I, I'm defining these key terms, what I'm doing so in the form of a question. So once I had that, I just copy and pasted all the questions and I went to Kappa. So Kappa is a product that I'm a part owner in it's a badass product. Like it's one of the projects I'm most excited about right now. Um, so if you want to sign up, you have to pay for it. It's like 200 bucks for the year, but it's well worth it in my opinion. Um, so what I did is I went into Kappa and I went into bulk generation. <clears throat> Actually, no, I take that back. Oh no, no, that's it. I went to bulk generation. I created a new project. I went to uh, chat GPT for turbo. Now, before you do this, you want to create some presets. So presets is basically like like uh, you can customize the way the ChatGPT feeds content back to you depending on like what website you're writing it for. So this is the preset. Uh, you know, if you go to my saves presets and you go to preset, um, these are just some of the prompts that I gave it. So uh, the tone of voice, SEO optimized, clear, point of view, second person. I basically always write in second person unless I'm writing on my blog. Um, and then I even gave a little bit of like a, things that AI does that annoy me, right? So in conclusion, I put in conclude by paying attention to it, but focusing, um, you don't, most importantly, I took out the damn exclamation point and I just put a period. I don't get too crazy into this. Nonetheless, the advanced options are really what's most important. Like you want to prompt the content to talk in a certain way. And so for instance, the content should be written for a US based audience that is looking for information about drug rehab, sobriety, addiction recovery, different therapy techniques, and resources to help them remain sober. Like this is probably the most important line in in my prompt, because if you just feed AI, if you just say write me an article about this, it doesn't necessarily know what the audience is. Um, so in these presets, it was really, really important. Um, all right, and then I went into um, generated content, created a project and named the project Sober Nation Glossary. So then, um, you know, once you do that, you, well, I'll just kind of create a fake project so that you guys see, um, test GPT-4, and then you just paste all the keywords in here. So, you know, let's just imagine I was doing this again. I'd get all these keywords and I would just copy them and then I would paste them all in here. Um, this is another place where like, these are my presets right here. But for instance, if I wanted to have 
a preset for this article will be a little bit different and a preset for this article will be a little bit different. You can do all of that. Um, but you know, these are, these are the presets that are already done. So if you just apply presets, I can go to sober nation. It's going to apply the presets. So there you see how it switched it. So now I'm going to talk in second person SEO optimized. Um, and then it's going to have those content presets that I just told you about as well. All right. Uh, when you're done, you click go, you click generate all. Um, I highly recommend you leave it open, kind of turn off your screensaver. It's going to take a little bit, you know, each article is going to take four or five minutes. And so if you got 125 articles, like it, it took the better part of a day. So I just sort of let it run on my computer and busted out my surface and, and started working. Um, and then the best thing about Kappa is that you can just publish it directly into WordPress. So I took my project, I published it directly into WordPress. Um, and then he, these are my articles. So I'll even kind of show you just in the back end a little bit. I'm logged in. I don't think I'm going to show you guys my password in line now. Um, they publish as posts. So I suppose there is a downside to that, where if you wanted to publish them as pages in the back end of WordPress, like you can export it into a CSV file and then upload it doing by using the uh, WordPress importer plugin. I'm fine with them being blog posts. There's really no difference. A lot of times I like having content as blog posts just because I know that the URL structure is going to be exactly what I want it to be. Um, yeah, bam. So these are all of the articles that I put in. And then what I did is I just created a static page and I pasted the same exact stuff that I had in ChatGPT. I just pasted this exact thing. And then I had to go through individually one by one and manually link them. So this was the most tedious and like most annoying part of the whole process. I suppose if you wanted to, you could just turn the blog category into your archive. I didn't necessarily want to do that because, you know, if, if you do that, you're going to have the URL structure is going to be screwed up. So like if I just wanted to feed it all through a blog, it would look a lot more something like this, where it'd be um, sobernation.com slash what is recovery. Like that's what I want. But if I wanted to do it as a blog category and feed it through, it would probably look something like that. Um, which is not ideal, at least not in my view. You're going to see other people have different opinions about like URL structure or whatever. But for me, it's just, it always makes sense to just keep the, uh, the dynamic variables as minimal as possible. All right. Um, and like, this was really the process I had to go through every single one and manually link it through. You can see like, it's, it's great content, man. Kappa is just so good. It's crazy how good it is. So what else do I have to do? Well, the one thing that I do have to figure out, there's a plugin that I use called Link Whisper. And Link Whisper is really good to tell me what's going on with the individual pages, but it doesn't actually help me build interior links that well. So I have to find some kind of tool or some kind of solution to make it so that all of these pages link through to each other. You know, like the content's great. I feel really good about it. I'm really confident that Google's gonna like this content. It's not gonna satisfy like a lot of the the bots, right? A lot of the spiders that are that are gonna crawl through the website. I have to link this better. There's not a single interior link on this page, um, which is another reason why, you no, know, I'm going back and forth a little bit here, but it's another reason why I preferred to have like a static parent page where everything was linked through because at least this way I know that Google's gonna find all of these pages. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably take this and I'll probably put it, um, like a resources thing or i'll just I'll, I'll put a link on the footer or something for the glossary hope you love this video i hope you give this a try i'm excited to see how well the rankings are going to do once the page gets indexed sobernation.com has definitely gotten hit with like the last couple algorithm updates which i don't know why because all the content on it is like super top notch um, i'm just trying to get a little bit creative and trying to experiment to uh to get some of this traffic back and, and start getting my revenue back up but um if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching every week. As always, thank you so much. Uh, hit like, smash that subscribe button, and um, I'll talk to you next week. All right, guys, see ya.